Hello, Snugglebugs. Welcome to today's Hearthstone video. Coming at you with a little bit of spell mage. A little bit of mage. Uh, I tried playing this when it first came out. It wasn't great. I still don't think it's actually that fantastic. But they did make Sunset Volley a 9 mana spell, which is pretty good. And they did... I am going to play Cosmic Keyboard. And they did buff the manufacturing error, so it now costs 5 uh, for draw 3. Reduce them by 3 if you're not playing minions. So I thought, let's try this again. We do start with our Galactic Projection Orb in our hand, so we kind of just want to start playing some of these spells ASAP. Now, I know that you usually want to forge this, but since we are falling behind, let's just smack this. Enemy minions cost health instead of mana next turn. I don't know if that's good. I don't think I want to give them that option. <clears throat> to be able to potentially slam us with giants or anything like that. Um, probably end up doing like a ping infinitize the magnitude. Mm. Maxitude. I always call it magnitude. And I was like, you know what? I know. I remember. I remember. I, I, I remembered that I pronounced it wrong or literally read it wrong. I guess it's not even a pronunciation thing. That's the wrong letters. Um, so let us reread it. And it is maxitude. I like the beat, so I'm excited to hear it. Little Firelands portal. Never hurts anybody. Oh, well. Yes, it does. It literally does. Infinitize the Maxitude. Or... Uh, we have a 5 we want to play. I think we're just going to take Explosive Runes. Boop. Get this back. Stretch a little bit. You know, crack those shoulders. I do a lot of my recording in the morning before uh, I have to do other things. So I tend to be a little sleepy. Tend to be a little stiff still. Hence why I tend to drink a lot of these in the videos. I don't drink them all day drink them in the morning and i just happen to do a lot of my recording in the morning in the morning tells why we need the ring light no natural light when it's uh still kind of dark out mm -hmm. i guess it happens at night too not just in the morning but <laughs> to be honest my voice cracked is what is, is what i'm trying to say here um i actually think i can't play this right now because my hand is so full but I kind of just want to explosive runes, get a two drop, flame geyser, and ah, man, if I infinitize again, the only issue is again I'm kind of kind of not playing all the stuff. We'll take frostbolt this time. Oop. I guess this way I can frostbolt or play flame elemental into it next turn, like kind of empty my hand a touch. Books nine, play two, go down to seven, and go back up to ten is the only thing. So I'd have to hit something. Boop. That's actually quite good. Because now if they want to trade into this, they have to trade into a 2-2 two -two with one of their chain guardians, which is like fantastic for me. Um their weapon is gone, so freezing face isn't going to be quite as juicy. Um although see now I have spot the difference. And Technically, I think long term, we don't need the draw value, right? So I think spot and spot difference. So four, three, four, five. Uh, after you draw this, your second card in the turn. So I, if I play this, I have to be really careful not to use manufacturing error. Uh, but I do think that's the better play. And then again, I think we just have to get our value, you know? Um, I don't really want to do this. I guess we just take Fireball. We're not really a, a, a wide deck, generally speaking. And plus, we have a 7, and we do have a 9. Like, I, I guess, like, I had this, and I really was hoping to use it, but if your hand is full with value, then it's not really important. So I just have to be really careful. Now, this does specifically say draw, so things like Infinitize the Maxitude should not uh, affect it whatsoever, um, if I'm understanding that correctly. Oh, you have your second guardian. Your chained guardian, guardian of the sand. Yeah. Hmm. Mystery. Evolution is a mystery. Take turn the tides. And really, like, I want to freeze their face. It is a thing. If we ping here. Turn the tides. Value trade. 
See, the problem is if I freeze their face, I have to trade a 4 3. I don't think that's worth it. And I can't, I just can't eat 8 damage. Not with plagues in the game. That's the thing I cannot do. I apologize. I know I, that would have been probably the better juicy play, really, but that's all right. Firelands Portal. We'll see if I can play it. I, I only have 7 mana technically next turn because I overloaded there. But sure. Yeah, see, freezing phase is pretty good. But then I would have to trade this, which means, yeah. So overall, they took eight damage for me not doing that. Um, I guess kind of makes sense. See what we can get out of this. Ah, yeah, I never thought of that. Never thought of that. Void scripture. Well, we won't have enough mana to play it this turn, so I'll probably want to save that. Flame Geyser. And the other elemental that came out of it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because their their ice plague would have made this cost, or would have made the, the spell cost two, but this cost three less, it still cost zero. So that's an interesting uh, way for them to have kept track of that. Uh yeah, I see this. We have seven plagues in our deck. Oh, I should have looked at those. My gosh, I'm so used to. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. What did we get? Um, summon two demons. They don't have demons. They got some mana back. Infinitize to get a random spell and shattered reflections. Give them a one two. Not terrible. The only thing is, we don't really have any healing uh, in this deck whatsoever. Um, ouch. That hurts. Good thing it's not minions on board, though, I guess. Sure. Okay. Well, we obviously just want to avoid scripture. Um, this lets you play it for free, right? And I obviously may as well do the big board. Yeah. Ooh, a little rush. I think we just hit this here, then, don't we? And... Sunset Volley? Okay. Not the best, but this puts us in a good spot that if they don't basically clear our board or beat us by this turn, we just throw out the Galactic Projection Orb for the victoire. Hopefully. Alright. That uh, seems to me like they're digging. Little diggy diggy jar jar do. I mean, we do have enough plagues in our deck that in theory there's a probably 20% chance, give or take, that we are just dead. Um, to the plagues, whether they hit us in the face at all or not. Which, I mean, I've done that before. Yeah, it's not really enough, to be honest. Like, you can kill one thing here. Uh, you only have 10 health. Hit boss. Oh, this isn't gonna die! They're too strong to die! That's actually kind of fantastic. The fact that they got buffed kind of hindered them here. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll burn a card. But we have... Oh, we only have 8, 9, 10. We have Fireball, though. And technically Firelands Portal. Bam. Mm. I love it. Okay, that worked out pretty good, actually. Um, I enjoyed it. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, we'll, we didn't get to play the Projection Orb because I didn't want to risk having the random damage not hit them in the face. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, let's go hop into another game, see if we can't do that again. Alright, looks like we're going against a Paladin that, uh, ever since the latest patch, has pretty much always been super flood-based, uh, board aggressive Paladin. Um, which means that, ooh, if I am not wrong, then their slow start is huge for us here. I am gonna take Manufacturing Error. Um, our hand just needs more stuff. At this point, like, we have a couple spot the differences, which would be good. But yeah, uh, either I'm wrong, or they got really unlucky. Uh, okay, hand buff instead. Uh, is my guess it's going to be that 2-3 buff all the minions in your hand weapon. And obviously we're playing Spell Mage, so we do not have any destroy weapon things in our deck. There's our Cosmic Keyboard, which I am definitely going to play here. Instead of the secret, because next turn with spot the difference, uh, I would really like to be able to get a pretty decent board myself going. So they are playing hand buff, probably charge OT kit, excavate, 
Also buffs their hand, I guess, technically, at the end. Sure. We will we will both have a decent sized board after this turn. Hmm. Nope. That's not good for us. Uh, so I guess we kind of just take Mecha Leaper. And the 2-4. Actually, nope. Bucket of Soldiers. Because they are going to... If they kill this, it gives a ton of things for Mecha Leaper. Oh, no, it doesn't. This has to be a mech. That was silly of me. I know. I should have known that. It's called Mecha Leaper. What a silly billy. Silly billy. See, sometimes you have to read your card. In the morning, the brain doesn't always work as intended. I mean, we'll probably just follow it up with another spot of the difference just to put things on the board. I mean, this is obviously better on curve. I actually have room in my hand. Um, you know, it'll give me a five drop as well. But at the end of the day, I think this is still kind of a board play here. Yep, Ogre Gang, for sure. For sure. Oh, these are not the best. Oh, you know what? Fate Splitter. More value. Oh my gosh, of course I'd I'd hit the one thing right now I didn't really want to hit, which is the face. This is a pretty good board for a minion-less mage, you know? Um, We do have the four cost manufacturer here as well, which means we can play that along with hidden objects. Tanks. Unless you have... Oh, they probably have the Prismatic Lens. No, they wouldn't have attacked that if they did. Interesting choices. Admittedly. Mrs. is doing something in the kitchen. Which is technically right behind me now that she needs to know the layout. Of our house. Mrs. Nugs. Okay. I see. And then, yeah, you hit this. And then two damage. That's a pretty good clear. I mean, I get uh, a Nomelia. Excuse me. Get Nomelia out of that. So, I think, yeah. Uh, how much cards do we have? Yeah, this will be fine. Ooh. These are some pretty good hits. And then, honestly, I think we just Frostbolt face. Frostbolt face, sorry. Hidden objects. I'll take explosive runes. And then, I'm just going to say, a zero mana, right? It's, 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 doesn't like get it, get it stuck back just because um, sunset volley next turn, right? Because we can like use this to clean up and have explosive runes for the follow up. Like we can play both of these uh, in one turn, which is pretty good, pretty juicy. And they don't have their weapon, so here's the hoping that between either that or we can no Melia to clean up the board and play explosive runes. Like we have our options. Um, hopefully, knowing the type of board they are, they'd have to play some of their charge minions to trade so we have eight damage sure we'll try to clean up oh that is a rush but it's probably the six five excavate rush so i'm not too concerned that they're going to play it this turn okay well that was not what i was expecting at all jeez okay we don't have anything to really deal with that right now do we do we, do we, do we? There goes my plan for, like, kind of board clear. Um, I guess we could still then just try to sunset volley. We can go back to that plan. Should have probably discovered something first. Really? Oh, that's actually so bad. Because, like, that trades perfectly into that. Oh, my goodness. Like, are you kidding me right now? Um... That's really bad. Uh, give it for them to summon two copies of this minion that are dormant. Yeah, we'll take that. Ah, that is so bad. <laughs> that completely counters my 10 drop, man. Oh, well. We'll still go with our play here. Wow, that is brutal. That's a little brutal. We'll just trade into that now. Man, what did I hit with that? Six went base. That's kind of crazy. Sure. Yeah. That's okay. We have uh, Yogg in the box. Alright. <clears throat> Explosive runes. 
Yeah, I think we still just yog in the box here, right? I mean, what's this actually? Because we can five. No, we can't hit face with that just yet. So yeah, we yog in the box. Hope that some goes face, maybe. Ah, right, bridge riff. That's pretty good. Sanitize. Have nothing. Eh, that could be all right. This is kind of ooh. You know what? Just leave it. I don't need to. I don't need to trade. This will give us the damage we need for next turn with Molten Rune and mm -hmm, Fireball. <clears throat> Maybe not, but... Okay. I mean, Nomelia here is pretty good. Ah, the heals. Like, because we can trade one in. Is Nomelia better here? Or Fireball. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? We can... No Melia. Because, like, I'm thinking we just Molten Rune this instead of trying to get the damage face at this point. Yeah. Then we just use our little bugs to also heal. So we have 12 damage. We technically have lethal next turn. Um, weirdly enough, with the with the lightning bugs, this did not gain taunt, so that's pretty good. Ah, the collapse though, shucks. This didn't gain life steal either, which again is kind of good for us. Like, I think in part of me just wants to firelands portal face, swipe face. <laughs> is that really a good call right now? I can't play the lightning bugs if I do that. Yeah. Playing to my fireball lethals. Long story short. And I have two of them. So. Sure thing. They're probably going to play that. Maybe. Oh no. No. Not life steal. Oh that's still lethal. <laughs> uh, that should. Oh wait. That had life steal? Oh, it did because the thing died. Oh, I got too excited. I got too excited way too early. Um, that's on me. That is on me. Blizzard to free. You know what? What's this? What's this give me? Do I care about demons? No. Do I want rewind? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Firelands portal, please. Although I think right now we're just going to Blizzard to keep this frozen. And then play a bunch of light bugs. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Although, I feel like at some point they're just going to buff. They have the Leroy that's buffed. They're just going to hit me for 12. Oh, that was silly of me to not think that the life steal got passed on to the Kaleidosaur. Mm -hmm. That was a roller coaster. Let me tell you what. I do think they just have me. Again, there's no way they don't play Leroy in this deck. Um, and at this point, like, it's definitely just strong enough. Uh, we have 5, 17, we only have 18, so we don't quite have enough here. Plus, especially with the taunt. And then more healing. Shucks. Do we just yog in the box is the question. I mean, we don't really have any other realistic scenario here that gets us victory. Oh, we have this. We have some buffs. Oh my god, we have a lot of buffs. Sanitize still does nothing. Alright, that actually was really big. Now, this is 20 face if I really wanted to. Oh, we don't want them to heal. I think we can't go face, though, right? Um, I would love to, but... You know what? That was a lot better than I possibly expected it to be. 
I was like, Yogg in the Box isn't going to be enough. Uh, double cultivation on my board of light bugs was not what I expected to happen in my spell mage. I'm not going to lie. Uh, sure, more Jiggy Jiggy Jar Jar Dews. Now, this is lifesteal, so obviously we're, we're going back to, like, we, we can't really have um, nice things. So we've played Sunset Volley, Yogg in the Box, Firelands Portal, Blizzard. So if we can draw that projection orb... I'd be a very, a very happy camper. Void scripture. Your team is enemy minion and its neighbor's quick draw. You know what? I like the idea of spot the difference here. I'm gonna take heat wave. One divine shield. Mm-hmm. I'm just debating on what we do here, because, like, I kind of just want to friggin' give my taunt guy this cursed campaign. Oh, that's stealth. Didn't even realize that. Okay, um, do I ping then, is the question. I do do that. I do do, I do do that. I'm, like, 90% sure. If they have... Oh, let's just get a secret. Let's get explosive runes. At this point, yeah, they're gonna heal anyway. Pretty sure that had life steal. Did it not? Oh, that was because of the freaking aura. Thought. Oh, pay attention. Yep, it's not ice barrier. Go ahead, play your Leroy Jenkins, please. I would be okay with it if you did. I would be okay with it if you did. Oh. Okay. That is not a Leroy. Huh. That's tougher to get around than I anticipated. Um. Well. We draw everything in our deck possible. Uh, forge. And I mean, technically, we can just play our other manufacturing error here. Yeah. Um. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we have the Galactic Projection Orb into 6 damage from Molten Rune. This this is this is a tough cookie to crack. Okay. Technically, this is still not lethal. Oh, wait. Yes, they can buff things. Oh, what a game. What a game. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good with this. This was fun. Uh, I think we probably could have tried something. I wish these woke up the same turn, or like only one turn later, but obviously that's not the card and, and you know, all that stuff. So obviously it would have been good if I had taunts there. But obviously that was a pretty fun game. It was interesting. I really wish I got to play the projection orb. I don't think it would have mattered, to be honest. They were just, their minions got way too big, way too buff, and all that kind of stuff. Boof. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a fun deck. A spot the difference is still kind of one of the MVPs a lot of the times. Um, the draw card buff feels really strong. So I do like that change. I think that at least makes this deck feel good. I think it still lacks finish, um, if that makes sense. Like Sunset Volley into Galaxian Projection Orb Sunset Volley is technically something, but doesn't feel quite as good as, like, you know, before you used to just battle cry and use like 10 sunset volleys in a turn like there's no loop or or end game um which maybe is what it's missing but i enjoy it i hope you did too thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one